Right, this is just a very quick vlog about my um, opinion up upon the economy, which I've been asked about. Uh, I've been asked about, in specific, like the British, the UK, sort of England's type economy. Uh, well, currently it's pretty screwed. There's lots of people who were previously very su successful, who, I've, um, who I know, who are talking about having problems with paying the rent, paying the council tax, being able to keep themselves alive, and are talking about real budgets, shopping, you know, you know, student level, undergraduate level food shopping to be able to keep their head above water. This is very difficult. There are lots of people who are afraid for their jobs. There are large companies who are um, basically cutting down on resources. So essentially people are more fearful about their jobs. Now, the British economy rests upon our trading partners, you know, the people we sell to. Our principal trading partners happen to be the European Union, the Eurozone, which has problems. Uh, the Eurozone is partially dependent for its success and stability upon another country, which is the United States of America, which still has a few issues as well. And the United States of America is predominantly being backed up by China and there is a possibility that China could be heading towards some kind of slowdown um, as a result of a possibly a long-term issue with the uh, manufacturing output sector sort of thing. It's very complex. Uh, do I think that Greece will default? Yes. Do I think that there will be other defaults after Greece has defaulted, namely other nation states sort of getting a bit, you know, a bit sort of like too much into the into the red. Uh, the answer there will be yes. The only thing which is really keeping the economies alive at the moment is quantitative easing rather than any real growth. It's good that I've seen the gold price go down recently, but unfortunately the money is now going into bonds rather than necessarily gold or indeed being moved into the stock market and the real economy. Uh, so there's, there's just a lot, a lot of money which is like being suspended out there, which really should be being plowed back into the economy in terms of construction, uh, in terms of giving people real jobs, rather than just being invested. Uh, so it's, uh, we're in a very difficult situation. Do I think things are going to get worse? Um, bottom line, yes. Do I believe any of the conspiracy theories about the economy? No, I, I, I most certainly do not. Okay, I will reiterate that. I do not believe in any of the conspiracy theories about the economy. And do I think it's worthwhile trying to be prepared in some manner? Yes, I do. But I also don't think that you should have to buy the kind of paints you need to make your face look like something from an army and navy store. I don't think that you need to prepare for wilderness survival. I think you just need to be a bit frugal when you're doing your shopping. I think you need to store up your whatever scarce resources you've got right now, um, if you've got any. And if you haven't, make friends with people who have. And do things to cut down um, your use of energy if you can. And there's lots of little things which you can be doing. This is not a question of buy up tons and tons of rights in case the global... Uh, the globalist New World Order Illuminati people are going to like cut off all the supplies to absolutely everything because it's not going to happen that way. And no, your front door is not going to be knocked down by people wearing black suits uh, with nightsticks who are you know going to beat you up and drag you off to a FEMA camp where you're then going to be gassed and killed. Relax. That is actually not going to happen. I think I can promise you that pretty conclusively, okay, without the shadow of a doubt. Now, what's going to happen to the economy after this particular period? I think it's going to get better. I think that the economy is going to move towards green energy. I think that that's going to be uh, an important stage for us. And if you think about it, half of all of the coal, oil, and gas that we as a species have burnt in the whole his history of our species has been burned since 1980. Within the past 10 years, there has been a global 25% increase in the quantity of fossil fuels consumed. Um, you know, we're running out of gas. All right? We're running out of gas and we're screwing up the planet in the, in the process because like, energy feeds the economy. That's, what, that's one of its main 
purposes. If you think about, um, you know, boiling my kettle so I can make myself a nice cup of tea, how much energy is that? How, you know, how much labor is that for one individual turning a wheel? It's quite a lot. Possibly even, you know, a couple of hours worth of sitting there turning a wheel quite hard to generate the quantity of wattage you would need to raise that quantity of water to this temperature. So we're using energy as our slaves at the moment, okay? It's the one who's doing all the work for us. So we've either got to find new slaves or new forms of energy, which we have to diligently and obsessively deploy. Or we've got to think of something else to do, which might not be quite as pleasant. Alright, so, you know, it's times in the future are hard, and the need to go green is essential. Anyone who's involved in green industries is probably going to have the upper hand as far as job searching is concerned. Anyone who has green ideas and is prepared to talk about them and tell other people the experiments they've done is probably going to have the upper hand in the economy of the future. And I'm talking about, you know, 5, 10, 20 years down the line from now, not tomorrow morning, okay? Yeah, I mean, things are going to change. And I think that the, the end result will be quite good. But we've got to go through a lot of pain first. And it's going to start with the recession getting deeper. And then there'll be a dramatic recovery. And it's all going to be nice all over again. But we've also got to change the way in which we live and work and are.